Well, Jonathan and Emily, thank you so much for stepping into this conversation today and letting Rush Creek really know a little bit more about your story. And so with that, I got to ask this first question. I know recently you guys have moved uh, out to Hillsboro. Yep. Uh, you passed by a few churches. Mm -hmm. So what brings you continually back to the Arlington Park campus? We love this church. The reason we were drawn to Arlington Park in the first place was biblical-based preaching. The very first time that we showed up, we parked in the front parking lot. Mm -hmm. Didn't even make it inside the church before somebody had come up and was introducing them, people. introducing themselves to us and saying, hey, welcome home, this is family. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's always been. Y'all have been married for around seven years. You've been blessed with four young children. Tell, tell me what that's like. What's it like under the Howell household with four young children? Very busy, very loud. Yeah. <laughs> loud, but they're truly a joy. And it's just a crazy ride, mm -hmm. for sure. We we'll also know that in this crazy ride that you just mentioned, um, there's been a few challenges, uh, beginning mm. with Rebecca. Kind of walk us through some of the health challenges that y'all have faced um, as parents. We, all of our children have pretty significant health issues. Uh, starting with Rebecca, she was eight months old. Started off the flu, ended up her going septic, and through all of that, found out she also has pretty significant kidney um, disease. Jackson is four, and at first he seemed to be doing okay, and then we started realizing he wasn't really meeting his developmental milestones. He wasn't trying to talk, crawl, walk, any of that. Through speech therapy, all of that, we uh, came to the diagnosis of autism. Then we have Evelyn. She's two. One day he went to get her out from her bed and screamed. I ran in there, and it looked like she was having a stroke. The hospital thought she was when we got there. Just the entire side of her body was drooped. Um, through that, we realized she's having seizures. And then <laughs> that leads us to our youngest, Scarlett. She's currently on an NG tube because um, she won't take anything by mouth anymore. Her, her story is still a mystery. We still are waiting for answers there. So let's talk a little bit more about how the uh, the Arlington Park campus, the family here, faith family, Lord, some of your your small groups, those kinds of things. How have they loved, shown love and support to y'all? It's always stepping in, uh, stepping up to be wherever uh, wherever somebody needs it. Which is another reason that we just love it here because it's it's actually in action. We actually get to see it and be a part of it. We needed a place to stay because our living situation all of a sudden was a little crazy. Um, our life group stepped in. We were able to stay with uh, a couple from our life group for a couple months, and we might not understand it when it's going on, but it's been really cool to look back and see just how God's hand was working. It gives us the peace to know He had it then, He has it now. How are you? Good, good. how are you? Jonathan, my name is Mariella. It is good to meet you. Um, I've been in the back listening in as you share your story with Stan, and I just want to thank you again so much for being willing to just be an encouragement to so many people. Uh, we may know we have a ministry here at Rush Creek called the Dollar Club. Mm -hmm. um, it's where we ask our partners to give just one extra dollar each month, and we pool those resources together, find people that we can just be a special blessing to. And so I'm here to let you know that we've nominated and selected you to be recipients of our Dollar Club for this special Christmas series. And so we are sending you to a spa uh, for a couple days of just some rest and relaxation. And then for your family this Christmas, we want to send you for a night stay at the Gaylord Texan and with tickets to be able to see the um, ice sculpture um, <laughs> exhibit they have out there. And so we know the kids will like that. Oh, yeah. And in addition to that, we have a year membership for you for the Fort Worth Zoo. We, speaking of kids, you know, we haven't forgotten about them. Our team was able to go shopping and to get some, some Christmas gifts. We got some games and some bikes, so they'll be out here in a little bit. And we want to present you with a check for $7,500 so that you can be able to take care of some of those expenses. 
And so it's our blessing to be able to do that for you. Thank you. There you go. Absolutely.